Hi survivors, this is me Preparazan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not horrible. They steadily trying to control our lives as if we really need somebody to be telling us what to do, especially some Luciferians. A legend, oy, but that's what's really going on. Now, here it is, Mr. Lydon. Come out with a uh, press conference the other day telling people like they about to ban a certain type of light bulb. Y'all have to excuse me, sometimes I forget what type of light bulb this is saying that it's not energy efficient and then um allegedly also they're supposed to be they're talking about having to block the sun because now they don't call it climate um what do you call it whatever they was calling it with the climate now they're calling it climate boiling <laughs> man i'm telling y'all man they got it in for us they, they just ramping everything they just rolling it out and I'm trying to see when people going to get tired of this and actually start saying something about it and speaking up. I'm not advocating for no violence or no uproar. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, when do, at what point do people start getting together, including these so-called preachers who become millionaires, if not billionaires, lying to people? A lot of them, because they're not really helping nobody. A lot of them are really not. They're allowing the G-O-V to put their genders in their churches and further hurt their congregations. And the reason why I be on the preachers so much, because they have a responsibility to the communities that in which they serve. They have a responsibility to these people who pay their tithes and offering and who go into them to, for, for spiritual guidance and spiritual leadership, because right now we're dealing with extreme spiritual warfare this is demonic activity that's going on amongst us and if you don't have leaders around you uh putting you in the right direction and you know who have um you, you and your family's best interest at heart and not telling you to prepare for what's going on instead of trying to give you some feel good gospel everybody running around screaming hollering and shouting and all that but they're still not getting fed spiritually and, and then they're still not being informed and told that we're living in, in some severe times and to prepare yourselves and your families for it and how to go about doing it then I wouldn't be dealing with them and I damn sure wouldn't be giving them my money you can give it to the poor. Because the way this system is going right about now, it's going to be way a whole lot of more poor people than ever. And it's happening right amongst us. As a matter of fact, if you want to help people, help help people that really, really need help right now. Watch how God bless you tremendously instead of it, keep on putting it in these offering trays and it's not benefiting you none. But anyway... As I was saying, they're trying to completely control our lives. Ain't no telling what's going to happen out here in a minute. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's, 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 so, it's so bad, it's so severe. I was watching another prepping channel this morning. This is about the 10th channel I've, I've heard. These people live off the grid, grow their own fruits and vegetables, saying how the water and the air is affecting their vegetation and their animals. It's something sinister, deep, and ugly going on out here. 